Stay informed with Shufti Pros Weekly, IDV News, from new regulations to emerging technologies. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with the latest developments in the industry. As a result of efforts and strategies of both public and private sectors, the Anti-Money Laundering Council has downgraded the Philippines' terrorist and terrorism financing vulnerability from a high threat to a medium high threat. Domestic account holders of Nigeria will be able to access the funds in their accounts without hindrance from the Central Bank of Nigeria, as it has lifted the $10,000 deposit limit. The Cayman Islands urged the Financial Authority Task Force to remove the island from the French Grey List. FETF Plenary will determine whether the relevant government has complied or failed to comply with the recommendations. Legislators in Sweden are considering a proposal to increase penalties for gaming operators who violate the country's anti-money laundering law. There is currently a much lower maximum fine for money laundering violations under the Money Laundering Act than for gambling violations under the Gambling Act. Moneyville, the Council of Europe's Committee Evaluating Anti-Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing Measures, outlined in its annual report that Cyprus has improved its compliance with Financial Action Task Force standards to a certain extent, but still needs to work on some fronts. FedEx anti-money laundering efforts are updated in the Biden administration's Spring 2023 Regulatory Agenda. There is also a law-the-weighted draft rule on curbing money laundering in America's real estate market, 